We, we can't go any further without talking about like the most important trout card, which is the, the 2011 uh, flagship update. Uh, right now, we, we, we ran the numbers. Uh, the pop count, and there's 5,900 PSA 10s. They currently sell for around $2,000. Um, let's talk about this card for a minute. Yeah. Do we, do we think it's a buy? It's a good buy at $2,000? Do we see potential growth with a pop that's approaching 6000 Tell me what you think about this. Uh, I, I wouldn't buy it. And, and I say that as somebody who bought it when the level was more than 2x the number you're talking about. But I was in a very different kind of frame of mind around right. how I was thinking about collecting trout. Um, at the end of the day, with that sort of pop count, um, it's the sort of card that if you want it, it's always going to be there. Um, and so, yeah, no so it, it like what, what's the, I'm sorry, sorry. There's no shortage of them on eBay. Yeah, and so I, I just I think for those sorts of cards, it, you know, I do think that the kind of even though I, I don't like. I don't like the analogy in the form that it's taken now, but I do think the kind of start, stock to card analogy is appropriate um, where there's kind of so many out there and there's such a kind of vibrant transaction history that like um, it, 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 it just, I think it creates, I, I think a little bit, first of all, I think it creates a little bit too much, much distance between what it means to be a collectible card or something that just becomes a financial transaction, which I kind of have a problem with. Um, I think there are just if you had two thousand dollars to spend on a trout rookie, um, what I would be what I would suggest is you suck it up and you spend twenty five hundred on a twenty eleven tops finest refractor that has yes. you know a pop count of thirty seven yeah. in the PSA and it's not yeah. and, right that that's just like a no it's just like a no brainer right yeah. and and you know Jeff I know with, with your gold right I mean that was. I think part of your thought process and run why you leaned into that card. Uh, again, I think 2011 Tops Finest is one of the greatest finest sets that have ever been created in terms of its design. Uh, the pop, the, the 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 print run of it was phenomenally low by historical standards. Uh, and so I, I think on that basis, that's just a much better kind of relative value play. Yeah, I love it. I just and I just want to say a few people have mentioned in the comments that. The par something about the parallels, and I think that's a different story too. I, I agree. I think the parallels are still very collectible and sought after. So, I, congrats whoever picked up the cognac uh, uh, flagship Chrome collector. Congrats yeah. on that cognac PSA nine. Oh, uh oh, ignore that. Um, yeah, the cognacs aren't as nice looking as the diamonds, but they are like way harder to find. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, and I agree. I mean, I, I think that's right. I mean, my view would be like, I, I, you know, if you think about like some of the, the parallels out of that set. So like the Walmart, the Target Red, which is even more rare. Yep. Obviously you've got the black, you've got the, the gold, you've got the, as you guys mentioned, the, the, the 16th anniversary um, diamonds that include the Hope, the Cognac and the base diamond. Um, I'd almost prefer almost any of those in an eight or a nine versus a PSA 10 of the, of the base.